for those of us that knew Stan Saverin well, the news of his death yesterday at age 76 hit hard. And when I say for those of us that knew Stan Saverin well, I mean anybody in Pittsburgh. All of us. We all knew him well. Not just those of us that worked with him here in this building or at AT AT&T Sportsnet. I mean you. You listening right now. Because the guy that you saw on your television, the guy that you heard on your radio, that was the Stan I knew too. And maybe you never got to meet Stan in person, although... I'm going to guess that over parts of six decades in a town as small as Pittsburgh, uh, a fairly big city, but with a small town sort of feel to it, and everybody tends to know everybody at some point, I'm going to guess a lot of you did get to know Stan, Um, not just as the Pittsburgh sports broadcasting icon, but actually get to meet him and actually get to know him. I know that because if I had a dollar for every... You know, I met Stan this one time, and he was a super nice guy, and I was leaving a Penguin game once, and dot, dot, dot. You know, for every one of those stories I've been told, I could have retired a long time ago if I had a dollar because I've heard it over and over again, and I bet they were all true. I bet a lot of you did meet Stan, get to know Stan, and like Stan. You know, it's sort of the Bill Mazeroski, Franco Harris effect. You know, that both those guys used the joke that if there were as many people really at Three Rivers Stadium or Forbes Field as there were people who told them that they were in attendance for their famous moments, the immaculate reception of the homer to beat the Yankees, then each of those buildings would have held a million people each. Well, that's the amount of people who have walked around Pittsburgh over the decades and said that Stan Saverin is as good of a guy in person as he is on the air. But if you watch him on television or you listen to him on the radio at any point, since the late 70s, you understood that before you met him anyway. And if you did meet Stan in person, my hunch is you walked away with the exact same impression of him in person that you had of him watching him on television as you had of him listening on your radio. He was genuine. He was kind. He was welcoming on air and in person. The whole Stan guy love the show bit with callers to sports beat. And on the radio, that angle was legit. So, uh, Stan, we all love the show. And Pittsburgh really loved you.